Hello, everybody. My name is Fang Nguyen, and today we'll talk about the trigonometry unit circle, which is often viewed as a difficult topic in both uh, Algebra 2 and Pre-Cal. But uh, its applications, on the other hand, are abundant around us. Uh, have you ever seen a forest wheel before? Raise your hand. Yeah, you see, this is very easy once you're done with the lesson. As an engineer, in order to um, design a Ferris wheel or anything related to that, you need to know about the dimensions of all the components, as well as the angles of the component's position in, uh, with respect to the horizontal line. That we're talking about the unit circle. Look at the Ferris wheel here. So the design is not so difficult, right? The concept is so difficult, but it's important that the Texas uh, Board of Education includes it in the TICS. Now let's get to the details. The reason we call it is a unit circle is because it has a radius of one unit. So we can do it all the calculations more easily. But as you know, the quadrants are number counterclockwise. So does the angle measurement. It's all started on the positive x-axis. You can divide the first quadrant into three equal parts. Each one is 30 degrees. You got 0, 30, 60, 90 degrees. Or you can divide it into two halves. You got 0, 45, 90 degrees. For angle in radians, this is more convenient in scientific calculations. The, the conversion factor is uh, 360 degrees equals to 2 pi radians. For example, if you got 90 degrees, it is one fourth of the circle. So one fourth of 2 pi is pi over 2. Uh, 30 degrees is 1 sixth and so far for the rest of the circle. Now, uh, for the xy coordinate, you know that cosine of 30 degrees is uh, square root of 3 over 2 is equal to x over r, uh, x over 1. So it's the same as x. So it means that x is cosine of 30 degrees. And similarly, um, y is sine of 30 degrees. So the coordinate of that point is at the 30 degrees is um, square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. We can use the same logic to calculate the coordinates of all other important points on the circle. We've been talking about the Ferris wheel, right? In order to design a balance wheel so that you can roll it smoothly, you need to know exactly the precise location of all the buckets relative to the center and the horizontal line. Now, another engineering application is making the defective, is marking up the defective chips, hence the name a microchip on the wafer. If you want to be a semiconductor engineer, you definitely need to know about this. The defective chips on this um, wafer here, if you know um, the location, then you don't have to uh, manufacture it, uh, you don't have to test it. It's going to save you money. Here we get a 300 millimeter wafer. Say so, uh, this highlighted chip here is located at 100 millimeters from the center and making a uh, pi over 6 radian angle with this uh, horizontal line here. According to the uh, unit circle chart, the location of the center of the defective chips is at um, 100 times square root of 3 over 2 is equal to 86.6 millimeters. And y is 100 millimeters times 1 half is uh, 50 millimeters from the origin. Any question on this topic? Thank you very much.